Greetings everyone, and great here of another uh, ah, Age of Empires 2 Divine Edition replay. Spawn on the left side as the red bulls. We have a foreign name. Spawn on the right side as the blue cumins. We have vitals. Nope, the poles bonus. They are cavalry civilization here. Villagers regenerate five health uh, per minute and increases per age, so they don't get some nice little bit of health regen. Just making sure they have a little bit more survivability. Orcs replace mills, which of course does grant a immediate rebate or immediate collection on freshly planted farms, as well as being ever so slightly larger, allowing them to get a bit more even placing mills or farms. And stone miners generate a little bit extra gold addition to their stone, which always is a little bit handy. So you could go ahead and go for perhaps some early tower build or ca or or uh, castle build and not being slowing down your gold too much. Let's go ahead and get a fast forward pace as well. Uh, for the cumins, cumins additional town center can be built in the feudal age, which is very very powerful, but it does take longer to build. Siege workshops and battery ramps available in the feudal age. They don't, if I remember correctly as well, they don't have the AOE attack like uh, battle ramps get. They're meant for in hitting buildings and buildings only. The archery range and stables cost a little bit extra wood, which can be handy. More probably useful in the feudal age rather than the castle imperial. And cavalry is 5% faster than each age, but if I remember correctly, they get what? The technology don't get the speed technology, so it's overall net benefit and free, but it's not a maximum benefit sort of thing. They also get oh yeah, they also get access to step lancers. Not like you want to see that unique units kip check. So overall, they are definitely a good mobile force. I forget do the humans can whoops, do the humans even pull out stone walls? I don't know why. I think they can't pull out stone walls, but I may be mistaken about that. I must have mistaken. And those cows are dying because they're getting harvest collected. So we got some early palisade walls here, so red does get hard, uh, walled off his region. Kumas are more likely to be aggressive with the cheaper stables and archer ranges. This is very unsustainable. And we got some full works now being put out. Even before all the cows get uh, collected. Who's pulling out his own farms now? He still has no more cows remaining. Doesn't that even had four or deer? Am I mistaken, or did I not see any? Uh, there's some crocodiles with replaced the wolves. But yeah, and the stones mostly up north and down south in this map. There's some bit of gold here and there, but the heavy amounts of stone were up north. We also got some stone walls being floating now, so red's going for a very, very turtle style. We got a good amount of stone actually in the central starting off point here, as well as the same amount here. A little bit more exposed for blue, but he's likely to be more likely to go on the aggressive than red. More full works are being deployed on now. We also got an early castle here. I just realized something that they are at. Oh, that's interesting. If I were to slow down the replay, these were the two players from the previous game in the 2v2. So it looks like there's a little bit of bug in the replay system where it keeps these guys around. So ignore these two. Those were actually from the previous game are just uh, casted. So that's sort of interesting. That's a bit of a bug. More time centers is being deployed now. Both sides is going mass egoing. Now blue is making ways for a bunch of knights. Red has not spotted this yet. And he does go ahead and spot it now. We've got a good number of these knights here, so red may need to pull back these knights. This castle, of course, has been spotted, but it looks like he's going to be pushing out of range. 
I actually didn't fully wall off a stone, just a couple select areas with stone. Outside walls will go down quite easily. A relic has been picked up as well. It's actually one, two, three, four relics on both sides of the map. So it looks like there's actually a lot of relics on this map as well. Those Palisade walls, of course, get quickly cleaned on up. Red's clearing a bit of defensive force of knights now. The stable and blacksmith may go down. And over here, Red's knights are advancing. I think Red has lost a number of knights. I'm not sure where, though. Multiple relics being picked up by Blue. Red can't pick up his relics because there's a bunch of knights outside of his uh, walls. And Red is going back to these knights, and now... Let's take a quick look at Red's build queue. What is the iron to is self replaced? see a bunch of knights in the build queue, and I hear monks trying to convert some of Red's uh, knights. This is actually... This knight may have actually been a converted uh, convert. More builds to turn repair these buildings, which is... Now only for, oh, spending resources to get those buildings repaired up, but it also prevents them from being doing collecting resources so Louis is doing economic damage. And he's forced a lot of villagers to be pulled off the line right here. Red's going for more and more knights and now eyeing a castle here now. He does go and break this line here. He needs to throw these knights into that breach immediately. Red has a good night, a good number of knights here, and a bit of a better concave. Now that's a bit of a choke point here. Blue does counterattack there, doesn't fully commit, long red to get through the breach. As far as say who's actually has some more knights, I think red may pull out. Both and three. 11 and 3. So red actually has one more attack upgrade as compared to his opponent, and now the castle has been built. So this area should be very secure. He does throw his knights inside this garrison to get much needed health regen. Very, very nice. He will need to get out his own uh, monastery out soon rather than later to get out some more. get to collect these uh, relics. And blue has a massive lead of, lead of villagers. I don't think Red has actually deployed out a second town center just yet. No, he has. But Red has 55 villagers. Blue has 94. Blue has a massive economic advantage. He may not realize it just yet. And Blue does have a number of monks here. I'm not sure. Ah, the monks may be grabbing his opponent's relics. If he grab those, that would be great. That means that's more permanent gold income at a higher rate for him. I was going to say, if you use the monks to get these guys healed up, which can be very handy indeed, sort of like how Red is healing up his knights through this garrison. We see Red going for more and more knights. Blue's going for Imperial Age and more knights as well. You will spot this relic here. Blue may try to grab that one. He also knows about this castle here, so he has to keep his distance. Let's pull... Uh, evacuate this knights out there. Maybe he needs some herbal medicine to get these guys healed up. Healed up. Good damage onto that knight there. He's falling back now. He may spot this monk. Knights don't really have good vision. That's Re Blue's vision, and Red's vision is like that. He does not see that monk. That monk could do a, a sneaky little capture there. Oh, there's the monk there. Uh, we saw there's no relic in his hands. And it looks like Red managed to get the better engagement right there. Blue will lose this nice, but his better economic uh, situation will make his well, situation better. Nice here at uh, 12 and 2. Red Seals down a, a weapon upgrade from the Blacksmith. Red does have win that fight quite handily, but he's not in a good position to advance. Blue has a massive reserve of knights here. 
So if red advance, blue could be quickly crushed. We also have some uh, oblique, which are the AT, or they remove armor from units of metal correctly. Red or blue is going for his cavalier upgrade, which will give him a massive boom or massive uh, lead against uh, red. He will lose some villagers here, but that's not a huge issue. He has plenty of villagers to bear his opponent. Monks may grab a knight or two. Include mount damage from out these forces. Blacksmith upgrade right there. Cavalier's about ready to pop on out. Does Red have Cap? No, he does not have Bureau H right there, so Red is not looking good. And Blue's even taking time to collect these four gold deposits as well. That will deny his opponent so much gold income. Red is going out four towns out here to claim that gold. And here comes the Cavalier as he sees Cavalier. Give him a good amount of damage. Now he's three damage ahead. Additional 20 health and armor, and Red is backed out of the game. We're seeing Cavalier there. He was not going to win that game because we could just see by this, what even this gold you? here, Red will be starved out of gold very, very quickly if he continues the night game, and he will continue it and lose it. By the way, this is Anne Gray saying thank you for watching and moving on to the next replay.